This is the Back to the Future buckle kit. You'll use this to put a new hunting bag onto the original guide light frame. The buckles that come in the buckle kit are two quick attach accessory straps, two female auto lock buckles, four male auto lock buckles, and two SJ dual adjust buckles. So the first step to install your buckle kit is to buckle the auto locking buckles into the frame. So you'll buckle the side compression and the top compression. Then the next step is to take the dual adjust buckles off of the bottom compression straps. And set them aside. And then you'll add the SJ dual adjust buckle to the strap. And using a needle nose pliers is very helpful. And then repeat the process on this other bottom compression strap. Then the next step, you will go to the, to the bag. In this case, we're using the Sawtooth 45. First step on the bag, add the two dual adjust buckles that you took off of the frame to the load shelf straps on the bag. And repeat on the other side. So the first step in installing the bag onto the frame will be to connect the overload shelf And then you will connect the frame capture over the top of the frame by sliding these over the corners and buckling it behind the yoke. Go back and tighten the overload shelf straps on both sides. Then you will start to exchange the buckles. To do that, a needle nose pliers helps a lot. Um, what you'll do is flip over the buckle and put the needle nose pliers um, onto the cam inside the buckle and push. And it pops out the cam so you can get the web through the buckle. Take off the SJ buckle that's on the bag, set it aside, and then you will pop out the cam on the buckle on the frame. Keep that buckle and thread the webbing through that buckle. And then reinstall the cam. You will repeat this process on this side compression, the two side compressions on the other side, and the top compression buckles. So after completing switching the buckles, um, you will attach the lower compression buckle to the buckle on the bag and do the same for the other side. You will not use the SOE cut web. Um, so you can tuck it behind the body panel and out of the way. And same on the other side. So the last step is to thread the bottom compression strap up through 
the Mega Duck on the bottom of the bag. And wrap up the web with the web keeper. And repeat on the other side. And that is your Back to the Future kit in use. If you're using the Quick Attach accessory strap to attach your bow or any other accessory to the front of the pack, you can use the top compression strap by removing it here and attaching it to the body panel loop um, to secure a larger load like this quarter. There are a couple ways that you can attach the top compression um, when you have a load in the overload shelf. Um, you can either keep it attached to the front of the bag, extend the buckle, and go over the top of the bag. Or if you have a bigger volume load in your overload shelf, you can detach this buckle from the front and attach it to the tab on the body panel of the bag. There are two tabs on the back that you can attach each side. And extend this over your load in your overload shelf. Buckle it here. Tighten it down. Add the web keeper. And you're ready to carry your load.